Welcome to Mechanical Engineering Design, where I showcase mechanical engineering designs and student projects. Also do trainings on SolidWorks and AutoCAD, so if you don't mind, you can check my past tutorials on this channel. Of course, after watching this video. My recent upload was about the design of briquette making machine, so you can have a look. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications because I have exciting content to share. Stay tuned. Let's get started. So I want you to imagine a factory line where you need to move items from one station to another. So you have one guy working on one station. So this guy is doing sealing and packaging of items. You also have another guy over here. This guy is putting items into these boxes. So after putting items on these boxes on station A, they have to go to station B. And there is some considerable amount of space or distance, let's say 3 meters to 5 meters. So you don't want an, a scenario where person B comes for, for items on person A and taking them back. So of course it will be tiresome for person B and time consuming. So to increase on this efficiency, you, you have to incorporate some mechanism in between them. And that's where conveyors comes in. So there are three types of conveyors. The first one is power driven. Conveyor. The next one is belt or chain. Conveyor. And the third one is roller conveyor. So in my tutorial, I've made design of a roller conveyor, the third one, because one, it has a simple design. You only have to put some rollers and items will be moved from point A to point B. Two does not use power so you don't have some cost of electricity in between and three it's easy to assemble and disassemble so you'll have low maintenance cost the fourth and the last one it uses gravity to transfer items so person b for example you have your conveyor from this point on a height of let's say 900 900 mm on person a will have a height of say one meter a thousand mm so that we can have a slanting height like that <laughs> of course they are both on the same level ground let's erase this So when person A places boxes over here, there are rollers aligned. So person A will just apply some small force to push it. And this box will just use gravity to go to this point. 
point B. So at this point, we'll have a barrier over here. So when this box comes, it will just strike at this barrier and stay there. So person B will just pick this box and place it on his working station and do some sealing and labeling the items. So one advantage of this roller conveyor, it can act as some waiting stations. So items will just be loaded over here. So when one box comes, it will just hit another box and stay over there. So let us look at this design. So here is your roller conveyor. It has a simple design. So person A will just place their box over here. Apply a small push and your items will roll to person B on this side. So here we have a barrier which will block and prevent the boxes from falling down. <coughs> so what I've incorporated on this design, here there is a U-channel. As you can see, can be made of mild steel. So U-channel has been as some holes drilled at a distance of 75 mm. This distance doesn't need to be the same. They can be adjusted depending on the weight of items that are being carried and also the space available. So you can see the roller has a shaft. This shaft will go into the hole drill on the U channel. And there is also a bearing over here. This is a bearing to prevent friction and also wearing of the rollers. So for stands, these are 50 by 50 square tubes that are welded on an angle line. So if you can see the yellow part is an angle line that has been cut at 45 degree. You can see. It's a very simple design. Cheap to make and also reduces production time. So if you have some questions about this design, you can drop your comments in the comment section. Or if you have a design that you want to see being designed, also drop a comment in the comment section and I will design it for you. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your colleagues. Thank you.